Hello everyone, this is MJ here at MJ Chandler's Corner. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be testing the new Soap Log Splitter from Workshop Heritage. This is the Soap Log Splitter. And what you do is you take a slab and you pretty much slice it in half with it. On the sides it has adjustable heights depending on how tall you want your individual soap bars to be. I love that sound. There it is again! Should we do it one more time? Maybe on the right. This is the project from the previous episode that was called the Modified Peacock Swirl. Modified because there is a step that was missing which made these feather-shaped peacock design, design parts, uh, larger instead of smaller. See that middle there? That is actually some what they call soda ash and I find that that happens a lot more with slab molds, particularly if I'm soaping at lower temperatures. In an upcoming episode, I'm going to address this because I've got this plus another project that has soda ash. We're going to see if we can get rid of that. Say no to soda ash. After you use the soap log splitter, to slice your slab mold into more manageable loaves. You then use the single bar wire cutter to cut your bars into nice straight even pieces. So they look like brownies. Before this I was using a miter box and no matter how hard I tried they were always a little wonky. So I got this. On my wish list is a multi-cut splitter, but I'll probably have to wait until I'm making lots and lots and lots of soap. Did I say lots of soap? I meant like swimming in soap. I'll need a bar for every hour of the day. like something you could eat. The top and the sides. So this is what that swirl looks like when you cut into the inside. I'd say it was a success. How about you? Thanks for watching. Meow's out.